This is the Music History Today podcast for July 12th. On today's show, it's Disco Demolition Night. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you'll find out. First up, though, on this date in 1933, Fred Astaire married socialite Phyllis Livingston Potter. In 1951, the Clovers recorded the song Fool, Fool, Fool. In 1952, Britain's Vera Lynn became the first person not from America to top the United States singles chart when her song Alvita Zane Sweetheart hit number one. In 1962, the Rolling Stones played live for the first time. The lineup at the time was Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Brian Jones, Ian Stewart, Mick Avery, and Dick Taylor. In 1968, Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees married model Samantha Just. In 1969, Blind Faith started their United States tour. In 1970, the band Fritz, with lead singer Stevie Nicks, opened for Janis Joplin in California. Stevie said that she learned how to connect with audiences by watching Janis' performance during that concert. In 1971, the Coca-Cola commercial with the new Seekers song, I'd Like to Buy the World a Coke, played on radio stations. The song became so popular that the new Seekers recorded a new version of the song, called it I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, and turned that into a big hit. In 1976, the band Ian Drury and the Kilburns broke up. In 1979, a publicity stunt in between baseball games at Chicago's Comiskey Park was held. The stunt was to blow up disco records as a protest against disco called Disco Demolition Night. The event ended in a riot, and we go much more in depth on this particular event in this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has dropped by the time you hear my voice right now. It's right on this channel, by the way. Please like and subscribe. I like this episode. It's a good one. In 1983, The Edge from U2 married his wife, Aslin O'Sullivan. In 1988, Playgirl magazine published its list of the hottest male music stars of the era. Making the list were George Michael, LL Cool J, Brian Ferry, Michael Hutchins of NXS, Richard Marks, John Cougar Mellencamp, better known these days as just John Mellencamp, Brett Michaels of Poison, Robert Plant, and Terrence Trent Darby, along with Larry Mullen Jr. of U2, who actually beat out Bono, his bandmate, on the list. Bono, a no-show. Go figure. In 1992, Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses was arrested for inciting a riot in St. Louis in 1991. The band was arriving back in the United States from a tour in Europe, which is why it took so long for Axel to be arrested. In 1995, the OJs were among the performers at the Let's Stamp Out AIDS benefit concert. In 1997, George Harrison was quoted in a French magazine describing his dislike of modern music, specifically the Spice Girls and U2. In 2008, Taboo of the Black Eyed Peas married publicist Jamie Dyson. In 2017, the group MXM was formed. In 2020, Megan The Stallion was shot in her foot during an argument with rapper Tory Lanez. Tory was convicted of the shooting and sentenced to 10 years in prison for it. In classical music, in 1946, Benjamin Britten premiered his piece, The Rape of Lucretia. In theater, in 1958, the Broadway musical Lil Labner was closed. In 1985, the Broadway musical version of the movie Singing in the Rain was opened. And in 1993, the musical Sunset Boulevard opened in London, England. In award ceremonies that were held on July 12th, in 2000, a sculpture of John Lennon was unveiled in Trafalgar Square in London. In 2001, New Orleans International Airport was renamed for Louis Armstrong. In 2007, Rod Stewart was made a commander of the British Empire by Prince, now King, Charles. And in 2023, Sheila E. became the first female percussionist to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 
Albums that were released on July 12th include in 1965 when The Shadows released The Sound of the Shadows. In 1971, Funkadelic released Maggot Brain. In 1978, Kenny Loggins released Nightwatch. In 1986, Rama released True Confessions, and Eurythmics released Revenge. In 1994, Amorphous released Tales from the Thousand Lakes. Alice Cooper also released The Last Temptation that day. Marilyn Manson released Portrait of an American Family. And rounding out 1994, Kansas released the Kansas box set. In 1999, Witness released Before the Calm. In 2004, The Rolling Stones released singles 1965 to 1967. In 2005, Rick Springfield released The Day After Yesterday. And in 2011, Incubus released If Not, When. Singles that were released in the UK on July 12th include in 1982 when Blondie released War Child. In 1987, Rick Astley released Never Gonna Give You Up. And in 1999, David Gray released Babylon. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, The Crystals released Then He Kissed Me. In 1965, The Beach Boys released California Girls. In 1966, Chris Farlow released Out of Time. In 1972, Michael Jackson released Ben. In 1973, the Edgar Winter Group released Free Ride. In 1976, the Jay Giles Band released Ain't Nothing But a House Party, the live version of that song, that is. That actually became rather popular. In 1977, the Brothers Johnson released their classic Strawberry Letter 23. In 1979, Casey and the Sunshine Band released Please Don't Go. In 1982, Michael Jackson released Human Nature. In 1983, Frank Stallone released Far From Over. And in 1999, David Gray released Babylon in America. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 12th include Christine McVie of Fleetwood Mac, Kimberly Perry of the band Perry, singer Tracy Spencer, Broadway composer Oscar Hammerstein II of Rodgers and Hammerstein, Alan Duval of UB40, Liz Mitchell of Boney M., Cellist and composer Avaristo Feliz Dalabaco, Philip Taylor Kramer of Iron Butterfly, singer Sandy Patty, Dan Murphy of Soul Asylum, Eric Carr of Kiss, drummer Brett Reed of Rancid, singer Walter Egan, Jeff Christie of the group Christie, pianist Van Clyburn, John Petrucci of Dream Theater, Barbara Cowsill of the group The Cowsills. Jazz trumpet player Conte Candoli, music producer B.M., jazz saxophonist Sam the Man Taylor, J. Bird Uzel of the Corsairs, Mr. Jerry Williams Jr., and disgraced actor, comedian, and singer of the 1967 song Little Old Man, Bill Cosby. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 12th include the aforementioned cellist and composer Avaristo Dallabaco, who passed away in 1742 on his 67th birthday. Flute player Johann Quantz passed away in 1773 at the age of 76. Composer Alfred Pease passed away in 1882 at the age of 44. Composer Erman Zop passed away in 1883 at the age of 57. Harpist Felix Godefroyd passed away in 1897 at the age of 78. Composer Enrique de Mesquita passed away in 1906 at the age of 70. Composer Charles Wood passed away in 1926 at the age of 40. Saxophonist Jimmy Lunsford passed away in 1947 at the age of 45. 
Organist Joseph Youngkin passed away in 1953 at the age of 79. Band leader Roger Kahn passed away in 1962 at the age of 54. Composer Frantesic Suchi passed away in 1977 at the age of 75. Composer Kalervo Tukanen passed away in 1979 at the age of 69. Singer and also actress Maya Rudolph's mother, Minnie Ripperton, passed away from cancer in 1979 at the age of 30. Composer Merrill Ellis passed away in 1981 at the age of 64. Chris Wood of the group Traffic passed away in 1983 at the age of 39. Violinist Carla Van Nest passed away in 1992 at the age of 78. Pianist Alan David Marks passed away in 1995 at the age of 49. Jazz singer Earl Coleman passed away in 1995 at the age of 69. Bassist Ernie Furtado passed away in 1995 at the age of 72. Composer Gottfried von Enen passed away in 1996 at the age of 78. Keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin passed away from a heroin overdose after a concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City in 1996 at the age of 34. Songwriter Jimmy Driftwood passed away in 1998 at the age of 91. Composer and also professor at BYU, Brigham Young University, from 1957 to 1994, Meryl Bradshaw passed away in 2000 at the age of 71. Musician Benny Carter passed away in 2003 at the age of 95. Guitarist Robert Barras passed away in 2007 at the age of 31. Clarinetist Paolo Mora passed away in 2010 at the age of 77. Keyboardist David Carr of the group The Fortunes passed away in 2011 at the age of 67. Conductor Greg Smith passed away in 2016 at the age of 84. Jazz guitarist Ray Fury passed away from cancer in 2017 at the age of 70. Saxophonist Arno Marsh passed away in 2019 at the age of 91. Singer Rod Bernard passed away in 2020 at the age of 79. Singer-songwriter Judy Dibble of the group Fairport Convention passed away in 2020 at the age of 71. Composer and also the conductor of the Vancouver Symphony from 2000 to 2018. Also the New York Philharmonic Summer Series from 2004 to 2014. Bramwell Tovey passed away from sarcoma at the age of 69 in 2022. Also passing away in 2022 was pianist Jan Vin, who passed away at the age of 88, and concert pianist Andre Watts passed away in 2023 at the age of 77. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 13th, when in 1985, Live Aid took place. (laughs) 